Chief. What's it's up? It's a blessing to see the dead fresh city. And we got Desmond Jones in the building. He is the CEO of Bunks to Billions. Yeah, we're in the building. Bunks to Billions, man. How y'all doing out there, man? Yeah, man. B2B. Yeah. Y'all mobbed up. See, well, up in this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> 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 before, we, before we leave, y'all gonna be mobbed up, too. We got oh, something yeah. for everybody. Oh, yeah. I got my shirt. Yeah, I see y'all branded <laughs> out, man. I see the chains and all that. I'm supposed right to be mad. First of all, um, give us your Instagram and all your social medias. Uh, you can find me at Billions. That's B-U-N-K-S, the number two, and Billions. So, Fa Facebook, just go find Desmond Jones. I'm the only person with a big head on there. You go find me. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, um, what's, the, what's the name about Bunks to Billions? Bunks to Billions, uh, I mean, it don't matter if you come from a college bunk, homeless shelter bunk, military bunk, or even a prison bunk. Don't let nothing define your destiny. If you got an idea, it can be brought to light, just don't give up. And it's showing it ain't always about the money. Right. It's showing that the bunk is low and beans is high, showing that you come from a low point in life and make it back to a high standard. When I say don't give up, I say don't give up. Because right. I, I don't been on the brinks of the fire, and I'm still here and I'm still standing, I'm still strong. So when I say don't give up, don't give up. Look at Tyler Perry. He bunked in his car, but look at what the brother had now. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, y'all got to understand is that time ain't no luxury for none of us. Right. It's a small window of life, it's a small window of opportunity. So if an opportunity is good for you and it presents itself, man, please seize the moment, man. In these days and time, what's going on now, I don't look at shapes, I don't look at sizes, I don't look at colors. If the heart good, then the whole body good. But if the heart is bad, then the whole body bad. So here at Bunch of Beans, man, I do hire convicted felons. You don't get second chance, you get third chances. We got patience over here. A person asked me the other day, like, man, I look at y'all like, like this other lady, y'all remind me, that's good, but long as it's good. The difference from Bunsen Beans here, what you get, you earn. When we come, we come in peace, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we try to be an asset to our family, also our community. Mm -hmm. We ain't in competition with nobody. We ain't in competition with ourselves, to fight within, you know, to build ourselves within, to, to tie down the gene that's in us, that's holding us back from being friends with people, making ourselves approachable, because a lot of times, we think people disrespecting us. Mm -hmm. You invite yourself to disrespect by conversations you engage in, giving your opinion on stuff that don't even matter. Mm -hmm. And definitely the people you fraternize with. Mm -hmm. Any good come to you, man, it come from the creator. Any bad come to you, come from your own hand. So, you know, here at Bonsa B, man, I tell everybody, we never get wrapped up in our titles. Our titles mean nothing. I'm the CEO, but my title mean nothing. Mm -hmm. Our purpose and our cause is for a greater end of our titles. Everybody behind me that's with me, mean something. You take away my engineer, you can't even make a rap. You can't even produce a song. Right. You take away my artist, my engineer can't even get no work in because he ain't got no artist to perform no song, to produce a song. So the thing so is, it's teamwork. Teamwork, man. And when I say it's a team here, ain't none of my artists on this label, man, against each other. Mm -hmm. We family. We don't just do business, but my man, his mom just passed away recently. Mm -hmm. The team, we go, we support him. Mm -hmm. He needs somebody to talk to, we there. If somebody get hurt, we there. The age, it ain't about just no business. Mm -hmm. But when it's time for business, all of them know. Like all the laughing, and all the joking, that's over with, man. So uh, all these artists that's, that's behind you? Yeah, yeah. Word. A couple of them didn't make it, man. They playing, they ain't landing yet. Oh, so y'all deeper? Yeah, man. Okay. We got a lot of people. Didn't you start off as an artist? Yeah, I started off as an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I went, I went to prison for nine years mm -hmm. for assault on the police officer. I just recently came home. I've been home. September the 15th next month hey, will be two okay. years for me. Welcome home, Coming home from a solemn police officer, ask me do I regret anything that happened? Nah. <laughs> because it made me into a better person. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, the thing is now, I want to be an asset to my family and my community. And it was just one day, you know, laying on my bunk, man, thinking that it's over with. All my ideas, all my dreams, they got the door. But at that same time, I thought about, I said, that's what these people want me to do to give up. Yeah. We might be laying on this bunk right now, but I can still get out here and get these billions. Mm -hmm. And then just, just being there, I had somebody right beside me that was on the same thing. Mm -hmm. My man, I had my family out there on the street, he rapping, doing his thing. Then I had my man sleeping right beside me, his rich homie Millie. You know, we met in the pen. Mm -hmm. Like for real, on some real shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we here now though. Mm -hmm. You know, he been through a lot. He seen how I rolled in the pen, how I carried myself, how I treated people. I always kept myself approachable. He seen that I can manage myself in this unnatural environment. He knew damn well I could manage him. Right. And I told him, I said, brother, when we come home, whoever go home first, 
you got to get in a position where we can be ready to help the next one when he come home. It was God's will that I came home first. Mm -hmm. And I told him why he was in the pen. My whole team, they never knew Millie. But they knew that I knew him. And I told him that he was good and he was genuine. And they always say free Millie. Mm -hmm. Because they know when I put my name on something, I say something, that's our thing that's real. And I tell them somebody I think they real, they knew it was real. So Millie home them. The prayers work, he home them. Oh, oh, and then oh, just on top of that, when I came home, I was an artist. I recorded one song when I came home. After recording that song, I was like, I'm too aggressive. I had a lot of, I ain't gonna say business, but I had too much to say, but I said, you know what, I ain't gonna do that to the streets, because I know what it can take me. So I got invited to my cousin, my man, I didn't even know him. You know, SP, Trap Boy SP, he had a video shoot. They invited me to the video shoot, man, him and my cousin, man, they doing the video, and I'm just looking at the video it just wasn't going right at the time, so I was just like, hey, man, try this, try that. You know, man, it just sparked something. And when I seen them two together, man, it's just like, you know what? Forget rap, man. I see something else. I said, you know what? I want to be in a position, man, to make sure as an artist, how we wanted to work for me for an artist, I wanted to work for them as an artist also. And they, they gave me my first project, and I said, look, let me do the next video for y'all. I never done a video in my whole life, but I think I can do it. Just yeah. trust me. They gave me the project, and they trust and they believe in my vision, man. If you go look at our video, even the first video, you know, uh, I'm satisfied with it. Right. Mm -hmm. So they believe in my vision, allow me to do what I do. We here now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one day I got a call. It was a nice young lady. You know, one thing about me, man, I ain't no hate. I keep it real. It was an artist that I signed one time, a female artist. You know, she good people. She introduced me uh, to... Uh, my man, where you at? He mad. He hear that, man. He 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 R&B sing. He sing, man. He can do it all, man. Right. And uh, I signed him on. And uh, Leek hooked me up with another artist, Two Tone. You know, brought him into the table. But the thing about me at Bumps and Beans, like you got to go through a screening. Mm -hmm. When I say this screening, it's serious because uh, it can you can put something on my life or your life or anybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't want anybody around me. I don't fraternize with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. My team will tell you, like, nobody rides with me. Mm -hmm. I never ride and call nobody, but uh, we end up taking on Two Tone, E Mac. Then I got to get up to my people, OG Pi. Me and him was friends from a long time ago. We connected again. He was doing the music, so he came in. He's the vice president of Bunks of Biz. Got to get up to him. You mind if I give a couple of shout outs because I, I owe them boys this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to give a shout out to my boy Nino Brown, man. Helping me with my brain, rocking my the first individual to rock my brain, man, and put it out there, man. Miami. Yeah, down there in Miami, I gotta get up to him. Gotta get up to my boy uh, Montana, man, the real Montana BMF, man, right. and what well, a surgery, man, for showing us made love too, man. I ain't forgot y'all, man. The Oma Agency, all y'all boys, man. Oh yeah. Black yeah, 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 black niggas, and gotta give you love, black. Yeah, yeah black niggas. Uh, yeah. Straight up, man, everybody, man. I know for the boys that's in the pen, man, that's tuning in. I know y'all got y'all phones tuning in. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, man. I man. got some boy down the road too, man. Yeah. Keep y'all here. Keep your spirits up and we're yeah. sending them green. Dollars. But I, uh, I don't want to do a lot of talking. I just want my people, man. They, one thing about my artists, man, they already organized. They grown men. Mm -hmm. On babysitting, they do what they do. They don't call me when they go in the studio. Everything they do, they do on their own. Only thing I do is just try to help keep order. Right. Just remind. I'm, I'm just a reminder to them. Right. You know what I'm saying? They run this company. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? This is our company, but at the same time, without them, this is no me. Right. So I really want them to introduce themselves. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now step up to the mic. Uh, we go one by one, man. And introduce yourself, uh, your, your talent, you know what I mean? What all you do. And give a shout out on your IG. Yeah, what up, world? This is Trap Boy SP, man. You know what I mean? I'm an artist from Boston Bay. Uh, I ain't got no Twitter, no IG, or nothing like that. Got a Facebook, man. Uh, Follow me at Antoine Cole, you know what I mean? I'm there doing my thing. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to USP Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Gotti down there, you know what I mean? Um, shout out to JB, Javi, you know what I mean? The whole, the whole uh, Zopan movement down there, you know what I mean? And uh, that's what's up, man. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, yeah, your social media. 
All right, y'all can find me at Loverboy Emac on anything. That's YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Everything is all the same. Loverboy Emac. That's L O V R B O Y E M A C. Gotcha. I can look, look you up now. And uh, I know we uh, we got a song called Blue Money. So can somebody tell us about? Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? What's up, peoples, man? It's your boy, Leak the Prince, man. Philly made me, Jersey raised me, you already know, man. East Coast. I'm, I'm out here, man, doing what I got to do with my B2B family, man. Uh, getting into this Blue Money campaign, you know. Blue Money the mixtape, Blue Money the single that we campaigning out right now. The remix is on the way. You know what I mean? We're going to keep that under wraps. We got a surprise guest for the remix, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just Blue Money, man. That's what we grind for, man. And you look at them new Blue Hunnets. If that's stripping on there, then we don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, money. I was hoping that's what he was talking about. Yeah. I was like, is, that, is he talking about Yeah, them like stripes. When you go to the bank, them stripes, yeah. yeah. If All they ain't stripes. beaming, yeah, they scheming. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what that blue money mean, man? We're just campaigning, man. We're just trying to feed our families and, you know, do right, man. You know what I'm saying? And free everybody locked up, man. Free my big brother, Till, locked up, man. Free Hank, locked up, man. Hold y'all head, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Might hit the strip club with that blue money. Might cop a new Benz with that blue money. Might take your bitch shop with that blue money. Get your head blown off of that blue money. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a nigga wanna do something. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a bitch wanna do something. Might hit the strip club with that blue money. Might cop a new Benz with that blue money. Might take your bitch shop with that blue money. Get your head blown off of that blue money. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a nigga wanna do something. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a bitch wanna do something. That blue make a nigga wanna do something. Drop top for the summer and that bitch running With a bad foreign chick, she don't say nothing Just know that the motherfucking money coming That blue money, them blue hundreds I done fucked around and fucked up some new money I ain't even hit a motherfucking M yet So you little niggas really ain't seen nothing I don't feel like driving when the jet coming You ain't talking about money, then it ain't nothing Tell them hating ass niggas I'm racked up Baby back out on these niggas like a Mack truck See young niggas count that paper See young niggas run that tab up That blue money make a nigga crazy That blue money make niggas act up About to drop a hundred bands on that farm Might drop it one time cause I'm Charms. All these polos in the closet are off Lauren. I be racing to the money, Jeff Gordon. That blue money, that blue money, that blue money making girls crazy. That blue money, that blue money, got your old lady calling me baby. Might hit the strip club with that blue money. Might cop a new Benz with that blue money. Might take your bitch shot with that blue money. Get your head blown off of that blue money. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a nigga wanna do something. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a bitch wanna do something. Might hit the strip club with that blue money. Might cop a new Benz with that blue money. Might take your bitch shot. With that blue money, get your head blown off of that blue money. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a nigga wanna do something. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a bitch wanna do something. I jumped out of my new shit, and my new shit got a fever. That's right, nigga, it won't stop. Call a doctor up, cause it's car hot. Chain cold like an old house. That money, that money, we ball out. We get it, we stack it, we flip it. We spend it, we spend it, we move out. Hot nigga is a new nigga. Bumps the billions, get the news out. Fresh boy on my Dougie shit. Fly boy when I move out, jury game like a lighthouse. I shine bright when them lights out. Park the white car near the White House. That's presidential bring the out. Might hit the strip club with that blue money. Might cop a new Benz with that blue money. Might take your bitch shot with that blue money. Get your head blown off of that blue money. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a nigga wanna do something. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a bitch wanna do something. Might hit the strip club with that blue money. Might cop a new Benz with that blue money. Might take your bitch shot with that blue money. Get your head blown off of that blue money. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a nigga wanna do something. That blue money, that blue money, that blue make a bitch wanna do something. That blue money, that blue money, that blue money. And it's about to be finished. That's what we done do. And so, but yo, we got another song. It's called God is Good. It's Rich Homie Millie. Yeah, yeah, what's the sound? What's your boy Rich Homie Millie, man? Back, man. Appreciate it, man. So long years, I'm definitely back, though, man. Rich homie, merely D1 and on the heart of Rich homie. We're screeching about for that. Mm -hmm. I am back, man. 
perfect time and miss tape on the way. Go check me out on IG, Rich Homie Millie, no underscore, Facebook, Rich Homie Millie, SoundCloud, Rich Homie Millie, whatever, man, I'm back. The God is good, featuring the homie Yaki. Shout out to him. Mm. Free them all, man. We here, Bones to Billy. Before we play that, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, pause. Before we play that, I got a question. Well, actually, got two questions. First, what was the first thing you ate when you got out? The first thing I ate. That's <laughs> real funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Steve featuring the boy Hollywood YC. That's the homie. Shout out to him, the whole one hand movement. I won't lose. It's more than just a song. That's my vow. I will not lose. God, I want to ask you to reveal the one that want us to make it and remove the ones that don't. I won't lose. I told you back away. She made it out of coma, that real rap, but it fucked up, cause I still care Hold the road, I you to live down. True color get revealed there. I saw a lot of niggas get killed there. So I ride a man, made a meal there. Pieces on my work for Creel Fair. That piece ain't on me, I feel bell. Lights to gamble, I'ma play the hand that I was dead, even if it don't deal fell. Twin bitch in my Brazil pal. Get sun tan and they skin glare. Mama told me, trade no man, it no man, I will spell. Young nigga like chill well, that bullshit, we can don't need. On the heart of rich home Nothing to prove. I'm making my move. I do what I do. Shit, come through with coats. My shit with no roof. Was a little nigga on the porch. I jumped out the stoop. Nailing my fool. We breaking the rules. Don't think you too cool. You know that you shoes. I'm sleeping nice on the moon. Water like pool. One hand forever rich on me, but you gotta choose. Oh, my middle fingers up for what to say now. With no pussy niggas, we ain't gon' never play round. Told me to back in, no way just to stay down. Now look at us, we got our way down. We live every Thursdays, 5 to 7. We got E Mac in the building, part of yeah. B2B. So you the singer of the group. You got Jump yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, what, yeah, like, in fact, like, this, yeah, um, sing your favorite song. All right, I listen to a lot of Chris Brown, so. Take it off, I wanna love you. Bad body, I wanna touch you. Yeah. You moving right, wanna see what's up or not. Hey, okay. Okay. You okay, met. you got a little place. <laughs> All right, so tell us about the song, She Bad. All right, She Bad, I was actually, I was in, at my house, I was writing a song. I just, it was this girl that I had seen at the mall, and she was just on my mind. I ain't say nothing to her because, I don't know, I ain't say nothing to her. Why? She was bad. Yeah, she was bad. That's how bad she was. She's the type of girl that you just look at and just be like, So y'all the niggas be making girls think they ugly, because you mean, because we thinking that you're going to say something. We see you looking, and then y'all don't say nothing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. She seen me show. licking and stuff. I guess she was waiting on me to come to her, but I was in my mind, I'm like, nah, man, I can't. I'm just, I'm just writing about it. Yeah. yeah, I'm just writing about it. I want her to come to me. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm an Aries, so, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want her to come to me, but in the midst of it all, I went home, and I was just thinking, just thinking, like, dang, what if I would have said this? What if I would have did that? So I just started writing a song, and the song really just tell her about it, tell her about this experience. Okay. Oh, I hope she's listening right now. What's it, like, what, what she look like? Uh, she was light skinned. She was about 5'5". Five, five. Mm -hmm. She was uh, 
everything and ate. That nigga really is an R&B nigga. Isn't that a... Wait, what, uh, what's that song? Usher really and R. Kelly. Say she bow, five, five. Hey, let's get into it. I want to hear how she sounds. She bad by E-Man. She wants to be in the building. Suck up and I win us. Lover boy, E-Man. Hottest thing that I ever seen. Nice walk in the style so mean. The type of girl that I see in my dreams. Oh, oh, oh. I ball hard, yeah, that's right. Popping models getting tipsy tonight. So get used to this fast life. Yeah, it was just the bluff. Oh. It was just called the bluff. Yeah. He got a part two to it. It's a part two? Yeah, I ain't seen that. Okay. I ain't seen I got to check that one out. All right, well, man, thank y'all so much for coming, Bunks to Billions. Thank you so much. Like, y'all dropped some five today. And um, also, thank you to Hassan Reed for sharing her story and everybody tuning in. And um, since you sitting in the chair, I got to ask you the question today before we go out. So, um, why was the last reason you blocked somebody? Block somebody like on social media or something. Yeah, or your phone or anything. Probably because they were being like too annoying. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, you got some people who just rich you up when they ain't got nothing to do and you might be busy. You might turn them back to the studio recording and they still might text you like, oh, what you recording? 
Yeah, calm down, Shawty. Yeah, because we wasn't talking about no money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, well, that's a good reason because they're being annoying and shit. I mean, that's a, that's usually the basis of the reason why you block somebody. Yeah. Unless they just face ass ugly. Like, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? These are me, I'm taking some, man. <laughs>